So what are the options uh, when it comes to dental implants for people that are wearing dentures? Oh, I am so happy to be able to offer implants for denture wearers, especially on the lower dentures. Anyone that has ever worn a lower denture knows that it is not a fun way to chew and function. Um, you can get two implants that makes the denture snap into place, kind of like a button. And that definitely gives the patient a lot of stability. If you get just a couple more implants, on each arch, like maybe four to five, you can actually have a fixed set of teeth that don't come out. It's really- It's like a full arch of teeth that are- Full arch of teeth that don't come out. I mean, they do, we take them in and out to, just like you go to get your teeth cleaned every six months, you would do the same thing. You would come in and we would remove them and we would clean your implants and clean your prosthesis and everything goes back in, it's all fixed. You know, in the past, we didn't have those options. It's kind of like if you're missing a leg, you know, would you consider not putting a replacement on your leg? Of course not. You would want to replace that. Teeth are such an important part of how we function and how we look. Why would you not want to replace your teeth? So implants are giving us that edge. And it's like that a third option. set of teeth in a way? It's like a third set of teeth. Why would you not do that for yourself? It's such an investment in your health. They can eat whatever they want? They can eat whatever they want. It's an investment in your health. You can chew better. You can digest better. It's amazing. It's life changing for denture workers. What about the upper? implants? Now, the do. upper, you don't need it, right? Because of the suction? Well, need is a strong word. You know, um, some people will adapt to an upper better than they will adapt to a lower. But however, you know, you still have the palate on the upper. And that makes it difficult. It makes it different to swallow, it makes it difficult to speak sometimes. Um, so, having a fixed set of teeth on implants, you don't even have to have a palate there. Nice. On, yeah, so it's, we no longer even call it a denture, as a matter of now, fact. Because you're a cosmetic yes. dentist, right? Yes. They look real. Of course they Because dentures look real. seem to be obvious looking. Yes, sometimes they can be. It just really depends on how, where, and who did them, I guess, okay. like anything so else. So yours look natural. They, they look natural. Now, you like using an oral surgeon as well, a specialist to do the surgical We part. work with a team of specialists and definitely for implants, I do. I happen to be married to an oral surgeon. Um, however, even if I wasn't, I would definitely not take that part on. And I'll tell you why, Randy, okay? okay? okay. Um, some patients make fun of me. They're like, oh, well, what do you do? And I tell them I'm their quarterback because dentistry is so specialized nowadays. I specialize in cosmetic and restorative dentistry and same day smiles. Um, you know, let's say an oral surgeon will specialize in implants and wisdom teeth extraction and endodontist will specialize in root canals. So we have all these different specialties. And I like to treat my patients the way I would treat my family. So if my mom or my daughter or a family member was getting an implant, I would refer them to an oral surgeon. And it doesn't cost more, you it, say, it to go cost, to a specialist. It doesn't, so why wouldn't you? Okay. Let me tell you just firsthand, because I'm married to an oral surgeon, oral surgeons go to dental school, just like we do. Then they go to medical school, <laughs> and they complete that. Then they So do four more years? Um, they do two years of medical school okay, because dental school counts for some of their credits. Okay, so six years. Six, yep. And then they do four years of residency on top of that. I don't have a big so ego. like 10 years worth of uh, school. I don't have a big ego. Who's going to be better? That's a good point. Who's going to be better? Someone yeah. that's done six more years above and beyond what I have done or me. Or let's say a root canal specialist that goes to school two more years and does root canals all day long. That's what they do. Who's going to be better? Okay. They're going to be better. And if I was getting the root canal and I had the option of a general dentist or a root canal specialist, I would go to a root so canal So do it with the team approach. No more dentures. You don't believe anybody should be wearing a loose fitting denture. If I, at all possible. I, if at all possible, I don't. So get them dentures. anchored onto some dental implants. There's no reason not to. It's affordable these days. We can do that. Why wouldn't you change your life and be able to chew and eat as you please? Why would you deal with the floppiness and, and the horror of biting into something and they displace and you're afraid to go into public? Why would you deal with that when we have such a great option?